Oh my god. <sighs> Just kidding. Wasn't that bad. So I'm gonna be trying to start a new trend. Try and come out here and go jogging once a day, hopefully maybe twice a day. Um, I really hate running, but we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, check back in with you guys when I'm done. Uh, hopefully I'm a little more sweaty and a little more out of, uh, out of breath. But yeah, here goes nothing. What's up guys? So I'm super psyched about this Amazon purchase that just came in today. As you guys know, I started collecting playing cards and uh, let's go get this unboxed and see what it is. Okay, so the, get a little focused here. So this house that I'm in is kind of a small room, kind of give you a little tour. I know that this lens kind of makes it seem a little bigger, but it's kind of a, it's a super small room and the walls are weird because there's studs, which if you, if you don't know, that's the, usually a two by four that goes through the wall at like a sideways and you screw the sheetrock to it but this wall that I'm gonna mount this to um, I'm gonna put it right here above my sit my hopefully I'm gonna make a DIY cigar rack or cigar uh, hum humidor which would be kinda cool I'm gonna do another video on that at some point when I get down to it but it's gonna go right above this It's kinda like a little area where my stuff's gonna be my, my like rustic looking stuff whatever you want to call it but I'm gonna put it up on this wall but there's a stud here and then there's they're usually 16 inches in between each other and so I'm not gonna do another because I as you can see here I already had a TV mount and stuff up on there and I've got a couple holes this is just a rental house so I'm not really gonna ruin the walls anymore because I got to fill those in and repaint them before um, I leave um, I moved the TV over there as you can see with my retro game shelf um collection still in progress but um hopefully soon i'm gonna be doing some garage sale videos it'd be really cool um to get down to that it's been kind of rainy so i haven't been able to do it i've been working a lot but i'm definitely gonna get down to that here soon but yeah so i'm gonna put it up on this wall and so what i'm i've done which is super easy it's you know nothing major i'm not gonna put any nails and any screws into this because there's only one stud there should be one here but it's going to be too small and this isn't wide enough to reach both. So what I'm going to, what I've done is, I don't know if you can see it here. I've done these 3M adhesive strips. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there. Yeah. And so what they are is they're Velcro. So this side sticks to the wall and the other side obviously sticks to the back of this. And so it's going to be, I'm just going to stick them to the wall and hopefully it'll hold up. I mean, playing cards aren't going to be that heavy and it's it's only a hundred rack thing. And if it works, hopefully I'm going to do maybe like more of these side by side as my collection grows. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to put it up and see if it works. see uh, it indeed did stay kind of pretty cool that it stayed and like I said the color of it kind of matches my desk and shelf that I've got over there and then it matches 
that little container that's got all my stuff for my games over there, and then this table sort of. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's. You know, you can pull pretty hard. I don't want to pull too hard because these are Velcro to Velcro. So this one's obviously Velcroing to the one that's on the wall. So you could probably pull it off. I don't want to pull too hard because, as you can see here, this is 3M taped and it's pulling off the paint. This place wasn't really done very uh, properly when the guys came through and did it. I kind of, I used to do carpentry before I got in the fire department and some of the stuff that was done in here wasn't exactly uh, very good craftsmanship, but we won't get into that. Um, but yeah, so there's uh, my little solution for not having to use nails and screws and that's my little uh, trick I picked up from a guy named Chris Ramsey. Go check him out on YouTube. He's got some awesome magic tutorials and um, card tricks and cards that he collects. Um, he's kind of the one that got me into it. Him and uh, Peter McKinnon, another good guy to follow. He got me into photography. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a little cool hack. You can just use a cassette tape, tape holder to hold all your playing cards and then like I said you can put another one right next to it and just continue on the line and maybe make a whole wall out of it but yeah I'm gonna pick you guys back up later when uh, I go do my jog that I'm gonna keep you guys updated on and uh, yeah peace out that was day two technically Another one down in the books. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, I, don't know, I was kind of thinking the other day, kind of may want to start doing like some little short videos, just talking about like certain aspects in life and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, today I kind of want to talk about change. You know, I know change is rough. Sometimes, sometimes it can really suck, you know what I mean? And sorry about the loud truck, that was, that was pretty loud. Um, but yeah, so change, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where like, I know some people, me, myself included, have, you know, when you start, your life starts changing as in like, you know, people leave, um, jobs change, you change, body changes, um, just anything. I just say embrace it. You know what I mean? I'm not condoning anything of saying if you know you get a job offer in New York, you should just uproot your life and go to New York. But what I am saying, you know, is if you really would like to do that, then I mean just do it. You know what I mean? It's just kind of one of those things where you just gotta get out and embrace whatever comes. Um, you know, it if if people leave your leave in your life, don't dread dwell on it, you know what I mean? Just embrace it. Um Sometimes, you know, you gotta lose the wrong friends to find the right ones. Um, and no, this isn't directed at anybody. This is just something I've been thinking about for a while after certain events in my life transpired. And it's just something that, you know, just embrace what happens. And you never know. The greatest things in your life could come from what, what happens. And I mean, if something, you know, I'm not gonna say anything super bad is gonna happen. And like I said, I don't just dive headfirst into things if you're really not confident it's gonna work out um, but life is about taking risks and uh, you know if things start going downhill then stop doing them I mean you know but yeah that's just kind of my little 10 cents um, got my run done I feel pretty good actually that was actually pretty easy this time I don't know if it's a nice breeze which you guys could probably hear on the mic um, or if it's just a nice day or if I'm getting back in shape hopefully uh, that'd be great um, but yeah, I'll, I'll pick you guys back up later. Hopefully I'm going to be doing something else later on this week. I'm going to be posting every Sunday. Um, I know I've said this before, but I'm for sure going to start doing it this time. I'm going to start doing some things too where I'm going to be posting at the fire or video or recording at the fire station just so I can, you know, kind of show you guys what, what it's like to do what I do. I'm not going to show you any of the scenes or anything because it's medical and that's, you know, you got to ask people if they can be on video and stuff. So, but yeah, I'll pick you guys back up in a little bit and, uh, I just really thanks you guys for sticking around if there is anybody and um, I hope you stay around and the content will hopefully get better. Peace out. What's up guys? So uh, 
the other day, I, I think I figured it out now, though. I think I figured the problem out. But the other day, I got the hiccups really bad. Sorry about that. Um, my computer, my desktop, it, it's been acting really weird, really weird with Premiere Pro. I don't know why. My, la my laptop does it, too. And my laptop's got an 8th Gen i7 and a um, RTX 2060 in it. So I don't, I don't know what the problem is with Premiere. If you guys maybe know, you can let me know. It, it sometimes is really slow and doesn't load the media. And I have to open, uh, my God, open a new project and then transfer the old project over and then convert it into a, like show the file on Premiere and then save a new project. It's kind of a hassle, but I I'd, I'd been doing it. I did it the other day, and it, the program ran fine, and everything went smoothly. And after I had did that, so I I don't know. It's just really weird. But so I took my desktop apart and cleaned it, reapplied thermal paste, put everything back in, and cable managed a little better on the backside. And I had messed up, kind of a rookie mistake. I put the Molex connector together, and the wires had popped out which is one of the flaws of Molex. I, I hate Molex. Oh, fucking hiccups. I hate Molex, but... Um, so I fixed that, and so the, the PC... The PC finally boots up, and um, I'm, I'm trying to work today, and it keeps giving me blue screens of death. Blue screens of death, and freezing, and um, crashes... And so I'm just, I was, I'm at a loss for words of what to do. So basically what I did was I wiped the um, hard drives. And apparently when I was wiping my main hard drive, the Premiere Pro file said that it was corrupted. Um, and so afterwards, I mean, I have two, you know, cleared hard drives and then my regular, regular SSD with my operating system and everything was running smooth. I mean, I wasn't opening anything, anything strenuous, just the internet, but for some reason, before I wiped the hard drives too, Chrome would, it would say reload or close, and then it would say close, like there was no internet connection. It would give me that screen of like no internet connection, and I don't know what it was doing, what it was doing, so I would have to close, I would have to close Chrome and then reopen it and try again, and after I cleared the hard drives, it it wasn't doing that anymore, so I, I mean, I don't know what the problem with it is. So today I'm going to pick up a used but new to me system. Um, when I get it back here, I'll give you the full line of specs and everything. Um, I don't know for sure when the guy wants to meet up. I'm going to have to ask him about that so that I know for sure when I need to be going. But um, yeah, so I was just letting you guys know what's going on. So yeah, that's uh, what my day is going to consist of today pretty much. Um, I've got two days off, finally. Instead of just ha having one day off and then going back in for two, I uh, finally got two days off, so I'm going to probably try and get a lot done today. Um, uh, the project that I was working on with my cousin, um, I do graphic design for his hardscape company, and, and the project that I had did for him on my computer, it... Um, is now in real life and here soon I'm gonna be going to take some pictures and video and I'm gonna basically make a b-roll of all of that and and uh, so yeah that, that's another thing that might be coming up later this week um, hopefully there's gonna be a video out um, today for you guys to watch well you guys will be watching this next Sunday but um, hopefully I'm gonna get one out I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some editing if I can get this new computer but uh, yeah, so um, I'll uh, I'll see you guys when I get the new PC back home if I do. So what's up, guys? Uh, I don't know if you can hear that whining. That's my truck. There's some sort of a grounding issue. I've got to hit the dash and it goes away. It's kind of weird. Uh, I got a piece of shit truck. But uh, so I'm heading back from uh, the guy's house and um, he lived all the way out the, by the plaza. Uh, super nice house, super cool dude. Uh, but I don't know if you can see it back there in that box. I got it. New, the new PC picked up. Um, so my PC at home, I think I fixed it. So what I did was I, I took the, um, I just 
cleared my both my hard drives. I had a two terabyte and a one terabyte that had games and files on them, and so I just I just wiped them, and then I put a I did like the reset or whatever and put a fresh copy of Windows onto my solid state while it still kept some of my preferences and uh, programs and stuff like that. And so when I was doing it earlier, it, like I was saying uh, earlier, it was it was running just fine. Um, so now yeah, I'm gonna get this one home and then. What I'm, what I'm probably gonna wind up doing is, this one has more powerful components, so I'm probably gonna use this one as solely my work computer, and then um, the other one will be like gaming or any other type of activity that I wanna do or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so when I get back, I'm gonna get it all booted up, and then I, I gotta clear the, um, the, the NVMe drive because it, he wasn't he it was gonna take too long for him to clear it and he said that it's fine if I just take it and go ahead and clear it at the house because basically all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clone one of my old drives onto it so that it's got my copy of Windows um, it doesn't have a disk drive so I'm not able to put uh, the disk of Windows in there and do all that um, but yeah he was real cool he put it inside of the box that it came with which I kind of like keeping boxes uh, I'm a hoarder when it comes to like uh, electronic boxes and stuff like that but uh, he also in the box had there was a mouse and a, oh, a, a older keyboard. Uh, they're not super nice looking, but it, it kind of comes in handy because I, I was I have been wanting to in my office make a like uh, work setup, and so him giving me the keyboard and mouse is kind of nice because then I'm going to be able to you know set it up as my work desk and go buy another desk, and I've got a monitor that I can already use and everything. So that. Yeah, that's kind of nice that he just kind of threw those in there. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to get back home. I'm going to put the phone down. Don't text and drive. Kids, don't text and drive. And uh, I'm, I'm going to get the phone down. I'm going to go uh, finish getting home and I'll get it all booted up for you. That's gonna do it for me uh, for this week, guys. Uh, I know that I said I was gonna be posting every Sunday. I keep saying this all the time, and I promise I am going to try and do my best to try and get something every Sunday. Um, it may not be super exciting. Uh, it'll probably just be some filler stuff, but I'm just gonna keep pushing on, keep seeing, uh, you know, learning how to do this and whatnot. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, Definitely going to be trying to get some good stuff, good footage from inside the ambulance. Nothing in the back because we can't show anything like that, but running hot to calls and just, you know, hanging out with my partner and stuff like that. So it can be kind of like a, I kind of want to do like a, how the shift progresses kind of thing inside the uh, cab of the ambulance. Um, so you guys can kind of see what a 24 hour shift would be like. And I'm, I'm going to kind of try and record stuff and then speed it up to make it a, a little bit quicker of like a time lapse or something. But, uh. Yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys next Sunday, hopefully, and uh, hopefully it'll probably be a little bit better.